Simple Tactics to Grow Your Opt-in Email List When building an internet business, your opt-in email list should be the principal focus of your attention as this is where the value will lie in the business. A growing and responsive email list, even if it is not very big, can yield high profits from these repeat customers rather than you spending lots of time searching for the next customer. With internet marketing, nothing is set in stone forever and you should always be looking to see where you can optimize your efforts. The opt-in sign-up box is on the landing page, which is the first time a visitor will come into contact with your website. What you need to do is note the amount of visits and the subsequent amount of people who then leave their email contact details with you. Knowing that information, it is good practice to then use another landing page, perhaps designed differently, and see what the resultant figures are. If the results improve, then that is a signal to keep the new landing page, but make sure you then test this against another one in conjunction with this strategy. It is also worthwhile to test different offers that you make. This is the free gift that you offer in return for someone signing up to your email list. They opt in and immediately receive the gift via download. If you offer a report, then a change to say offering an audio could affect an increase in sign-up rates. Just remember, the gift must be of quality and value, something that you would actually charge money for. It will be a person's first impression of your products, and if it is not good value and of help to them, then they are unlikely to seek to give you any custom by purchasing a product or service from you. It is important to remember that you should never prejudge or assume your prospects. Whilst you may be of the opinion that the landing page and gift are great, by not undertaking adequate research to find the niche's wants and how they consume information, your time could well have been wasted. Alternatively, whilst you may not value something the prospects in the niche you are marketing to may well grab it. You will only really know when you test and test again following on, you have to understand that you are not your own customer. This is true if you yourself have no actual experience of the niche that you are marketing to yet have identified a gap in the market for such information and you are in a position to provide the exact wants for the niche. You may not value the offer at all, it may be no use to you but to others it may well be exactly what they have been looking for. In addition, in presenting the information on the landing page, you may well be preoccupied about the look or feel or want a specific graphic. Yet for your prospects these factors are, if anything, ignored. It is very important, for want of a better expression, to get out of your own way and ditch the preconceived ideas and give the prospects what they want, not what you think you would like to offer them. As you can see, how to increase sign-ups to your opt-in email list requires you to keep working on your offer to ensure you are getting the best return in addition to keeping your own preferences at bay and giving the niche market what it wants.